So, you've accepted an invitation to join the Southeastern Conference, the most dominant conference in all of college football. Yeah, we are aware that Michigan won the national championship, okay? But we're also aware that you got caught cheating multiple times. And yeah, everybody cheats. I guess that makes us the national champs of not getting caught. Anyway, here are a few helpful hints to make your transition to the SEC smooth as possible. By now, I'm sure you've heard the SEC chant, more than likely in a mocking tone from the inferior teams that you're leaving behind in the big insert random number here conference. But don't confuse our conference pride with an admiration for each other. Oh no, it's quite the opposite. All SEC members are required to hate the following. Number one, Alabama. Even though their dynasty was just shut down like a bed, bath, and beyond, the Crimson Tide will remain one of the most hated teams in the conference due to the damage that their obnoxiously proud fan base has done to everyone's ears for the last decade. Number two, our referees. Are they biased against your team? Yes. So how is it possible to be biased against every SEC team all at once? Hard to say. The dark arts are many, varied, ever-changing, and eternal. Number three, Rocky Top. Tennessee's fight song may seem like a fun little country song now, but it will not be after you hear it 74 times in a single quarter. It's the only thing the band knows how to play. Also, get ready to hate Sandstorm, Colin Baton Rouge, Baba O'Reilly, Dixieland Delight, and Neck. Not sure what neck is? Just go ask an LSU fan to sing it for you, but not at church. Speaking of LSU, you will need to familiarize yourself with SEC math. For example, the number of hours before kickoff raises at the same rate as the amount of alcohol consumed, which also greatly increases LSU's chances of winning. It's the same as the Davis-Wade principle, where the number of cowbells increase at the same rate as the severity of your hearing loss. And while on the subject of injuries, if you ever find yourself in need of medical assistance, seek out a Vandy fan, technically a, a graduate. Nobody willingly chooses to be a Vandy fan. If your pet or some other random animal needs medical attention, seek out an Auburn graduate. If that animal has already passed, seek out a Georgia graduate. They've been playing with dead alligators for three years now. Which brings us to our next topic, rivalries. Now I'm sure you already know about our storied rivalries like the Iron Bowl and the Egg Bowl, but you should be aware of our lesser known but equally intense feuds. Every third Saturday in October, after the Alabama-Tennessee game, you will get to witness one of the most entertaining spectacles in all of sports. College freshmen versus lighting a cigar for the first time. And also, be on the lookout for heated battles that last all year long, like Mark Stoops versus Sunglasses, Paul Feinbaum versus Reason, and Auburn versus itself. Now, I would like to circle back to hate just for a minute, and I'm sure you're wondering, and yes, we already hate you too. Your addition to the SEC has already fractured century-old rivalries and completely changed the structure of this conference. We also know that one of you is very sensitive to a certain hand gesture, and that only makes us want to do it more. Just know that whatever happens on Saturday, we're all in this together, trying to navigate fandom and the ever-changing world of college football. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, there's gonna come a time where you might want to hire Ed Ogeron, and it's gonna be fun for like a year, but don't do that. Don't hire Coach O.